you ever been catching crappie around the bank in the springtime they're up spawning and then you got a front comes through maybe some heavy storms and stuff and then you get out there and you go golly man where'd they go well in this video i'm going to show you how to catch those fish and i'm going to give you some ideas on things to look for uh, hopefully that'll help you in the bodies of water that you're fishing so stay with me we've got a cold front came through last night lots of storms bad lightning thunder a lot of times them spawning fish will pull off the bank and go to the next available cover so i'm gonna start out in the middle of this pocket and work down through here and see what i can find casting and working this little jig bouncing it off the bottom swimming it back and if we see a, a stump or lay down or anything like that we'll chunk around it and see if there's not some crappie hanging out around it that have backed off there's one not very big but he's a fish he was oh golly he was holding tight to the bottom down there if you stop i'll let you go see that's all you gotta do talk to him a little bit we'll take it see if there's not another one over there maybe a little bigger there's a couple little bitty stick ups out there it looks like there could be a better fish down there on the bottom there's one I didn't even see that and just cast out there toward it. Another small one. Golly, little bitty guy. A lot of times when these fronts th move through like this, these cold fronts blow through, those little fish will bite a whole lot better than the big ones do. Sometimes that's the way it works out. Well, there's another good one. There's another fish. I don't know if he's a good one. Yeah, he's a good one. Heck yeah, he's out there in that same spot with all them little ones. Look at that. Yeah, come here. Come here, you girl. Oh, got her. That ain't a bad one there. Get that thing right in the bottom jaw. We got something to get that out though. Nice fish. Take them like that all day, boy. Nice. Get back in there. Just sitting out there in about eight foot of water, just right off the bottom. I'm letting it go down, I'm throwing it out, letting it go to the bottom, and then just a slow, slow retrieve back. Just hopping it. Three fish on three casts. Oh, there's one. Hey, that's a good one there too, boy. Yeah. Get that one. I'm gonna sling, sling that one in here. Another good one right there. Not a nice fish. I had a guy ask me the other day in a comment about where these fish will go, you know, when these fronts blow through. And this is the kind of stuff that I look for. You know, it's out in eight or nine foot of water. There's just a few stick ups. Actually, uh, the folks that live in here have marked a couple of the stumps with some PVC posts so you can actually see where some of them are. And this, these fish will just back out. There's another one. Look at that. Man, it's every daggum cast. They'll just back out, get out on these places, and hold tight until the weather gets right. Look at that, another good keeper. 
and some of them will start spawning out here this water temperature is getting up 65 degrees now and some of them fish will be spawning in these areas look at here that's, i mean that's a nice fish man i just got a little eighth ounce head with a little uh, curl tail black chartreuse curl tail on there cast it out there and let it go to the bottom now I'm using my live scope in a different manner I'm not visibly seeing the fish and catching the fish all I can see is I'm using it to find the stump so it's no really no different than using 360 imaging um, because I just find where those little stump stick ups and stumps are and then I'm casting in into that general area um, I did see a few fish holding close to the bottom, swimming around in that area when I first uh, initially pulled up here, but those fish are holding real tight to the bottom. I find that they hold tighter to the bottom in shallower water than they do suspend. Um, just very seldom do I see them suspending in shallow water unless it's at the first of the season. Um, when they first start moving up out of the, when the temperatures start rising on the lake, from the winter starting in the spring i'll see them suspended in this shallower water but once it gets you know like this 64 now once it gets up to 64 degrees they just um they tend the lakes that i fish they tend to roam the bottom more so than they do suspend you know before i got this uh garmin pan optics live scope um there's one i would just use okay nice one i would just use my side imaging to find this brush and either i would mark it with a marker buoy or i'd just use some landmarks up on the shoreline to give me a general idea where it's at and then we just sit back and cast to it just like we're, just like i'm doing right now um you know i i don't i'm not seeing any of these fish i'm not seeing any of these fish bite and forgive me if the wind's terrible reminds me if there's any of you guys in a that in the, in the comments know of a good lavalier or lapel whatever they call a microphone that i can get for this this gopro that's not too awful expensive i'd sure like to sure like to know what they are golly i hung it on a stump so if you would leave that in the comments that'd be great and i'll get it so you won't have to listen to all this wind noise all the time man i'm sorry about this dang wind guys if you fish in texas you won't go fishing if you wait for the wind to stop blowing especially this time of year it'll stop about august oh where's one boy he smashed it one of them i'm having to use these little forceps to get them out of there I'll tell you what i love them forceps look at that i mean they got a big handle on them so you can grab them guys got big hands you don't have to stick your hand a little bit try to get your fingers in them little holes you know you know one of the good things about fishing an area like this is that these fish replenish while you're here you know you got new fish moving in coming in from out in the deeper water and they're moving out from the shallow water so you kind of once you find them like this staging you can really catch them fast there's one hey that's another good one right there another good fish You know it just shows you that even after a front comes in you can still catch a good mess of them and pretty quickly i i hadn't been out here very long 
and when you find an area that they've nested in it's really good because then it's man it's every cast as long as you can get your bait in there it'll be every cast until you catch them all basically stacked up they, in this eight to nine foot what it is is it's I'm in nine and it raises up into eight coming up onto a little flat and uh, there's some stick ups on that where it rises up and changes depth and those fish are hanging right there on that edge, running up and down it, you know. I just hop this thing along, swimming it off, just off the bottom there, and let it hit the bottom every so often. If you find them, they'll bite. That's what fishing is anyway, all about finding active fish for the day that you go. There's one, up there in this shallower stuff. right underneath the boat and got it right up next to us here tell you what they are really getting it good though today front or no front they're busting it Another good one right here. Look at here. Another nice keeper. Be still now. Another nice fish. These are up in a little shallower water than them others was. About seven foot. It's the same scenario right here as it was back there, except for it's a little shallower, but I saw some brush out there. There's one. I knew there was some down there. They're very brushy though, gosh, I just see some stick ups down there. Man, it's hard to keep them. Just a regular old ball jig out of it. I'm gonna have to find me some weedless jig heads. Like I said I'm using this kind of like you would 360 imaging. I'm just, I can see the little, uh, little stobs and little bit of brush down there. Every now and then you'll see like some little fish crawling on the bottom. And so it allows me to stay away from the, stay away from them and make cast to them. And then fish will be spawning up and around them little stumps and lay downs and any kind of roots and all that kind of stuff. There's one and that did actually, he actually hit it. Way out yonder. Oh, pro I see why now. He's a little black crappie. He, black crappie tend to hit harder sometimes than them white ones do for some reason. I actually think 360 would work better in a situation like this because the wind's blowing so hard that it's drifting me around and you can't always see where the target is you know your the live scope moves and you can't always tell which exactly you know where the cover is that you're fishing as we're 360 you know you could see exactly where you need to be casting every time Golly, boom, I got a fish on there. I got hung up and was digging my line out from around my reel. Next thing you know, there's a fish on it. Isn't that crazy? 
I'll take them however I can get them. I don't have to be good. I like being lucky. Oh, there's another one. Another, that feels like another good one, too. No? Maybe a bass had a hold of that thing. He sure was pulling hard for a long time. <laughs> it had to be so little. That's what we got been eating his Wheaties this morning or something. I ain't strong. There's lots of fish back off and get in these places, man. It makes it really good fishing. There's one. Now that hit it pretty good. He ain't very big, but he he hit it pretty good. There's another one. Boy, there's a bunch of them down there about that same size, I guess. There's another one. <laughs> Man, there's a bunch of them that same. Well, he's a little bigger than them others. There's a bunch of them down in there, though. He's keep. You know, once you get lined up to where you can make that same exact cast every time, you can really put the hurt on these crappie. There's one way out, Johnny. Oh, he got me around something. Here he comes. Hey, that's a good one, too. That's a good one right there. Yes, sir. Good one. Boy, I tell you what, they are. They are getting it in there. I bet you that's a big old largemouth bass. That sun gun hit it when it was falling. Golly, and got around a little stick out there and broke me off. Shoot. Get a big fish on like that with six pound line and he gets, he gets around something. It don't take him but a second to break you off. Heard one. There's another one, another good fish. There's one ball. Knock the fire out of it too, buddy. A little male, he's getting all colored up. I think most of these in this five, six foot of water are spawning out in this depth. I don't think they're going to go to the bank. I think they're doing what they're doing right now. And once they're done, they're going back out in the brush on the deeper stuff. Oh, there's another one way out yonder. Another little guy. Oh, golly. Be still. Yeah, 
He's a little guy, but he thought he was big. There he goes. There he is, a black crappie. Pretty nice little boat, golly. Still. I ain't gonna hurt you. Oh, nice little black crappie. There's another good one. Hey, 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 hey look at here. Yeah, get in here, you. Oh, golly. Sorry about that, buddy. Dang. Another nice one. There he is. Look at that large mouth. Little large mouth. I think that was a big one that had me earlier. He's starting off with some bad habits. Hey, gummy! I got another fish when I got unhung. <laughs> that's twice that's happened. Oh shoot! Two times. Two times this morning I got hung, getting my line undone, got tangled around my reel, and then have a fish on there. Well, hey y'all! I hope you got some benefit from this video. Um, hopefully, I showed you some things to look for. Remember that they'll pull out. Um, a lot of times to the first brake lines, you know, and that's where they'll stage at, you know, when a front blows through and it rains. Hopefully I showed you that you can catch them after a cold front. When people tell you, oh, they just don't bite with the north wind or they don't bite after a front blows through for a few days. Well, they're just, that's just an excuse because they do. Check this other video out up here where I catch them real super shallow. Appreciate you joining me. We'll see you on the next one.